Now, welcome back to Castlevania Symphony of the Night. <laughs> if you're watching the YouTube archive, I already did a welcome back before I started recording, and then I remembered that I wasn't recording, so I was like, oh, I should probably start recording. Okay. Um, let's get on with this. Also, this game is 30 different save files. Impressive. Alright, where was I? Um, no, this is the one. Okay. Right. Yeah, that's right, because I got... I got to the end of the corridor before I died. <laughs> kind of annoyed that you can't heal with, um... You, you can't, like, uh, heal with pickups. That's annoying. No! Thank you. Okay. Wait a moment. You seem human, and yet, what do you hear? I've come to destroy this castle. Then we have the same purpose. I'll trust you for now. <coughs> I'm Maria. Who are you? Alucard. Not the talkative type I can see. Well, perhaps we'll meet again. If you live that long. Farewell. You. Huh. I can't get up there. Which is weird. Okay. Oh my gosh! These silly things. This one's like gold. Is there a bomb I can drop in front of it? Sure, what that means. the axe. Ah! Dude! Right, I'm just gonna avoid that thing. Ah! Bloody tables! Who would have thought that tables would be my biggest problem in this video game? Okay. Ah! Controls are so unintuitive. Uh, although that might just be me being used to Super Metroid, where you, um, oh, um, where you basically, oh, see, like when you, oh, no, I don't know. Okay, dead, you're dead. Wonder if the this is the one. Are there any other items that I have my hands on that can be better? Nope. A short sword and red rust. I'd rather have the short sword than the red rust, honestly. Freezes all the enemies in place. Wish I didn't waste that. Oh, I, it's not? Well, I suppose I have more than one then. I'm not gonna assume that I have like an infinite supply of this. Oh. Who'd have thought that my biggest annoyance was a table?
Ooh, magically sealed. Okay. Oh. I think this is the other magic seal that I found before I died. Yes, it is. Let's. Oh, no, wait. No. Was this the seal I found, or is this where I actually died? I think it was. the hell? Like, I duck. Okay, I seemed like I was ducking but then facing the other way, but I think that's just my D-pad being a twerp. Maybe I should just duck in the intended direction, like hold down diagonal in the intended direction that I want to be facing when ducking. once I at the end of this corridor. Oh, oh that's right. I think this is what this is what I died on. Ah Okay. So is that thing dead now? Okay. How much farther is there? That's right, I'm gonna get to the end of this enemy gauntlet. I'm gonna get to the end of this enemy gauntlet, and I'm gonna find something I can't get through. Okay. No! Is there a way I can save? I've come very far. Outer wall. Oh! There's the exterior of the castle, it's like I hit the end. Oh, that's annoying. Okay. I can't, I can't jump up there, can I? No, it doesn't look like it. Ugh. Approach. What can I do? What can I do? Um, oh, yeah. Okay. I wonder if I should probably just keep exploring close by. I think I've explored as much as I can of the um, alchemy lab. <coughs> but it's good to know that I've gone as far to the 
far right as I think I can. Well, I mean, out of wall. Don't get much farther right than that. Unless there's an, an outside section. <laughs> so, maybe I'll explore down. Thing here. See, like, if this was Super Metroid, I would have dropped a bomb in this corner, being like, there's gotta be some purpose to it. Oh! Okay. Gotta remember I have those. these hearts. The hearts are increasing that number based on whatever it is that I have. Oh, that's also an enemy. Okay, cool. At least I can destroy their skeleton dudes in one hit. Oh, that looks like a good item, but I don't know how to get up there. <laughs> Obviously I'll need something with a bit of fly power. I, I, I can't go through that. Okay. Is this an item I can pick up right here? No? Lame. Alright. Oh, the shield. I can't pick up the ball and chain? Aww. That would have been so dope if I could pick up the ball and chain. And if I could go through this passage. But no, I can't. Huh. Uh, 
wandering corridors, although it looks like I'm going to get back to the, um, start, the earlier starting area soon. Mm. Uh, which will be nice. was from that one hit. Jeez. I wish there were more save rings. <laughs> I'm gonna keep going down that path. Because I'm pretty sure now that I've seen it once, I can probably handle it a little better. And also I've got a potion back as well now, so that's a thing. This game is hard. Get up to there, I think. Oh, no. oh, this is that's got something that looks cool. That's news, not quite the news I was expecting. I guess it's the news you were expecting. I don't know. Hi, DK, how are you? Welcome to the stream. Huh. see if there's something up there that I want, but I don't know how to get up there. I'm sure I'll unlock a double jump soon. There's a hammer. So that, that hammer-like object. I want that. I don't know how to get up there. I think it was... I'm gonna go left first. Oh, that looks cool. That looks important. Obtain spirit orb. Um... Okay. You gotta go back to work? Fair enough. Thanks for stopping by and saying hello. Shows. Oh, baby. Shows enemy. Wait. Show and it shows enemy damage. Like, wait, hold on. Is that like the. I guess I'll find out. If it's like. Like, I was wondering for a second if that's like. Oh, okay. It's the amount of damage that I'm giving to enemies. $25. I also don't even know what the purpose of the money is. And wondering why there's money, why the dollars and cents exist in this era and location. Another shield. 
Yay. Now, save room is back up here. I just want to save for safety. Keep that spirit orb. Oh, baby. This is going to be amazing. Override data, please do. Please. Override the data. <laughs> Second, actually, I'm wondering what this menu looks like on the uh, it is cut off at the bottom. Okay, Again, like this. There we go. Okay, so that does more. Huh. Oh, okay, 62 is the maximum hearts I can have. Ah! Let the shield. The hammer, the hammer of mystery. Oh. That's right. Okay, I have to go this way. Still don't know what the money's on about. Okay. Ooh, 72 health, I think that's actually max. Yeah, no, it is. <laughs> That's right. Huh? Yep. Okay. Mm -hmm. That's right, these are the idiots that I died to. Huh. Yo. What are those red lines in there? Oh, wait, I have a. This is just a general projectile. I like one that's got a lot more. Hmm. 
gonna go away in seconds when I encounter another bloody table. So, 81 health maximum though, so I'll keep lasting longer. Ah, you're dead, sir. Huh. Thank you very much. Uh, there's a thing up there, and I want it, but I can't get it. Thank you. I was hoping to kill you soon. I can see that this game would have been so much easier to do. So much easier to play on the PlayStation 1. Like, with a PlayStation 1 controller. Or basically, a, or really any PlayStation controller since they never really change. Rather than playing with an Xbox controller, because Xbox D pads are ridiculously stupid. dead. Like, how come I can't attack him? What's going on there? Uh oh. Also, I do have a potion. I keep forgetting about that. I'm pretty sure I still have a potion. Huh. Yes, I do. choose to keep the axe if I want. Okay. I 
let's talk about this. Hmm. Okay. That I was not expecting. Okay. Again, like, I mean, killing the enemies gets me experience. That's right. Okay. I'm just gonna walk past you. I'm not even gonna bother. And again, I get to kill them and get the experience. Mm. Ah! I'm sick of this bloody knockback. Also, is there a way I can check my experience? Next, 209. Okay, cool. Each of those guys will probably only give me one point each. Oh, dude, I'm so keeping the knife. I wonder if it's even worth keeping that shield equipped if I never even really... Oh, thank goodness. Oh, but... Oh... Right, because I don't really equip this one. Oops. Oh, no, wait, that's holy water. I'm an idiot. I kind of only know that because of Smash Brothers. Okay, what do we have here? Um, ah, this is going to take me back to the starting area. Shield potion. Okay, cool. Yep, baby, here we go. <coughs> okay. All right, cool. Now we've made it back here. I've defeated one boss. Um, there's, there's bound to be stuff in the middle that I can't get. Wait a minute. Two passages over there. Have I been there? Mm -hmm. 
This music is dope. And this, oh, there's a passage to the side. But I kind of want to see what's in the middle, like if I can get to that, into the middle of this circuit that I've, that I've formed. So that's what I want to find out first. So what's this? Okay, so there's no actual name to this starting area. It, 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 like, it just occurred to me to kind of check if there was, if any. Also, is that? I forgot what it is that I picked up. Oh my gosh. Oh. Oh crap. Wait a minute. Wolf, mist, and bat. So. Okay. Those buttons don't do anything yet. So I imagine that I can probably um, use them later. Oh, but. Dude, window color? Oh. Oh, right. It's not gonna let me do more than 15, so. Okay, it doesn't really affect the gameplay here. Um. What was the green? I like the color red, although it's hard to see things in the HUD when it's red. Hmm. Um, also, it's a little bit annoying on my eyes. Okay. We're not using red. Let's see what happens when we put on all three. Actually, I don't really mind that. We'll put on none of them. Ooh. Eh. Green just looks out of place. Red, red is unintuitive. That just looks ugly. So I, I can't think of much that's at, that's in the tone of the game, but I kind of like. Mm, Honestly, I'm just gonna keep it at the default. Give blue blue eight points. Sound setting. Let's do stereo. I want the stereo sound though. Sound. Okay. Oh yeah, that's right. I might as well. They, they seem to come in really frequently in the alchemy lab. But I suppose, you know, there's a lot of options in which way you go. And like, there's that whole right tower section that I wasn't really able to go to. Um, dude. Thank you. So let's well the whole right section I was able to go to. Thought so. I've got a tip about this. So no, there wasn't any real holes. Heart max. Alright. 
But wait, my heart's a bit higher than 80? I don't remember. Is there any incentive to believe that you can break that wall? That's the thing. Or do I just have to, like, guess and check every single corner I encounter to see if I get a breakable wall? Hmm. Do I see? Oh, no, wait, no, of course. I mean, I remember that. Ah! Gross. Alright. Okay. So, yeah, let's... Okay. Oh, see. see, yeah, my max is 81. Maybe it just gave me a certain amount of health. Oh, unless it's like that certain value that, well, I wouldn't say value thing, but the I don't know. I'm going there, regardless. So this was... This is the boss room. I better, like, gain some, like, extra awesome jump ability that lets me get up there, because that, that bit of incomplete map is gonna annoy me a lot. What's this way? Yes. New things. Oh. Oh. It looks like passages that I can go through. Sunglasses. Um. Um. Where are the sunnies? <laughs> cool. <laughs> so they're just. Oh, they increase defense, but my. INT goes down. What is INT? Cloak. Other? Oh, no, wait. Those are just the things I have. Right. But I do get a defense sync. What is INT, though? That's just what I don't know. Do I? Oh. He's not wearing the cool looking sunglasses. Disappointed. Disappointed game. Okay. No! 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 Go back down! <laughs> Go back down! Okay. Let's be careful here. Hello, Retro. How are you? Welcome to the stream. Um, what is up? Ah, <laughs> old joke. There is a hair. 
on the neck, top of the neck of this bottle. I found, uh, I suppose uh, you can uh, get an update on my progress. This is the amount of map that I've uh, revealed. Um, although the section that's like in the very top right of what's revealed just above the save room, um, I've actually been all the way through that section all the way to the far, the far end tower. And then I died in that end and I didn't have a safe spot. So I was like, you know what, I'll explore in the close quarters and then expand out further once I have, uh, my, uh, moves. Or once I have, once I know I have more, more access to more things. And I figured I'd, uh, also check out, um, I realized that there are other, two other little, uh, passageways that I couldn't get to. Um, <coughs> uh, that were that like that were un well like, that weren't revealed uh so i figured i'd go check out them there's like also this little top right corner here but i don't think i can get up there i'm just anticipating don't confirm whether this is uh real whether this is happens or not but um i want i'm bleh. I'm anticipating that I'm going to get something that can make me go higher, like that can make me jump higher or that can make me fly on some level, uh, because then it would make a lot of the level design make a lot more sense. Okay. Oh. Okay. What, was that my only bullet? Basilard. Okay. What does that do? Uh, Basilard. Um, let's see. Um, basic short sword. Common short sword. Ah, uh, yeah. No, this isn't going to do anything for me. Then again, it's not like I ever use the shield. Okay, so I'm back here. I'm going to go... Okay, I suppose that, that cannon... I suppose there's a pillar here that that cannon destroyed. I'm going to go back up to the top. And uh, go through that other passage. Keep sending me upwards, sir. Uh. <laughs> I suppose at least I can make Alucard look like he's doing, doing some sick dance moves. It's Alucard's best feature so far. The sick moves. Alright, and what... Huh. Alright then. Um, okay then. So, that's just a save. I'm gonna go through that other passage over there on the left. Um, even though I'm pretty sure if I recall correctly, it's actually a it's actually sealed by magic. So also there's yeah, there's that other upward passage. Um, which would also make sense if I get like a higher jump move. So if I get something that lets me increase jump. Really? Like, see that one there on the far right? Even with, if I, if you had every amount of map that I've revealed since I started playing, um, including bits that I died after saving, this is still the most far right save point um, in this game that I've seen. And honestly, I'm okay with that. <laughs> well, I'm honestly okay with the idea of save points being very frequent, but. This one here is still the f most farthest to the right that I've discovered. I, of like, I'm sorry, I'm pointing at the screen like you can see me. But yeah, the the far right one there, down there, that is the most furthest to the right that I've been. 
uh, in, or the most furthest to the right save point that I've found, even including map. That's not revealed because I lost it because I died. I could not find a single save room. Oh, axe. Yeah, I'd rather have the axe over the holy water. Also, I fell like an idiot. I didn't mean to. Yep. Ooh. Ah, no! Go. Yo! Yeah, this is sealed by magic. Okay. So that's as far as that area goes. So there's, so what's left to me are now two possible ways to go. I can go back to the start area and head down. Or, oh wait, there's that lower left. And there's that, and the middle right. Yeah, the middle right and the lower left. Are the places like that I can go on the downward area. Maybe I think I'll just save that area that's far off to the right um, for later. Yeah, I can't get back up there, can I? Yeah, no. Let's go back to the start. Also, this little crack right here. You only destroy this wall by swiping your sword at it. I have a question. Is there anything that actually telegraphed that? Because I only found that out by a tip. Admittedly, though, if I was playing Super Metroid, I would drop a bomb in this corner. Okay. <laughs> oh, I didn't. I didn't find that legitimately. I will confess. I found it because I decided to take a quick peek at that old video of yours about Metroidvania and I wanted to stop as soon as you got to the part where you were kind of talking and spilling the deal with spilling the spilios on Symphony of the Night. So you started talking about, well I mean you talked a little bit about the original Metroid but I don't remember anything about it. Um, oh okay. Um, uh, then I watched the bit about the original Castlevania, and I'm, really, I'm not really interested in playing that game, so I figured I'd watch it, and it wouldn't get any kind of spoils. And then I watched the bit on Super Metroid, which I recognized, but then, when you started talking about Symphony of the Night, you mentioned the wall, and then, like, the wall that you could break, and I was like, okay, I'm gonna stop now, because I don't want to watch any more of this, it's gonna be a spoily spoil. And then, I, but then I was also thinking, I think that's actually a room that I know, though. So I'm gonna check it out. And then I checked it out, and then it was there. I'm like, okay, excellent. I'm not blaming you, though. I mean, it's I walked into that myself. Yep. Which one is it? There we go. Yep. This is the save room. <laughs> okay. Though I might probably do another a video myself for like, well, Super Metroid versus Castlevania Symphony of the Night. Although so far I like Super Metroid more, if not just for the movement. Okay. Oh no, that's right. I can't get there. I have to go. Yeah. 
This music is already in my like favorite. There isn't really much story spoil. I didn't care about story spoilers. Like saying Like story spoilers are one thing. There's like there is such a thing as gameplay spoilers, like ruining like kinda like giving away a secret in a corner. Um Ah crud. Like you can you can like a gameplay spoiler could be ruining a secret that uh you haven't uh, Yeah. Sequence breaks are kind of gameplay spoiler. Huh, yes! Oh, what's this? Life max. Okay, cool. I'm okay with this. So there's nothing else here. Wait, hold on. Okay. I almost want to just stay in this area because of the music. Mm -hmm. I just turned up the volume in my ears. It will, it doesn't affect the stream, but it does affect my ears. Also, quick question, is the game audio in sync with the visuals? Like... Uh, is the landing in sync with the, um... Actually, I know a way I can figure out. Oh, that is not in sync. Yeah, the game audio is a little bit ahead of the visuals. Yeah. Jump. Well. They are in sync? Alright. Like, I did check the VOD from yesterday. It's just that <laughs> streaming my LGP at um, good resolution. Um, on stream it syncs, it is insane. Okay, cool. Alright. Alright, awesome. I'll, I'll keep playing then. Okay, so the question is, do I want to go back to the earlier areas in the game and explore some of those, the unexplored territory that I kind of would have just walked past on the way in? Um, before encountering Dracula? Or, do I want to go and... Go up to that top back zone. Actually, I'm gonna go back this way. Fourth <laughs> chip. No, that's the heart piece. Well, <laughs> heart piece. Oh, no, it's not this room. It's this one. No! Okay. I'm going to head up. I reckon I can like make that fall. Like, it seems very specific, but I reckon it's doable. Huh. No! Hmm. No! Huh. No! Move! Go away! Hold 
No, no, crap, wrong buttons. Every time. Oh no. Uh, let's see. Next, 148. Experience to the next level. Alright. There we go. Okay. Did this game the music in this game over screen reminds me of the uh the game over music from Twilight Princess was like I can okay doesn't look like I can make that Gosh. oh that was I'm just gonna keep my eye on the floor and jump wherever enemies spawn chat. Ah! Oh boy. I can't go there. Wonder if there's anything this way. Ouch! Yo! That's right. That game over would have been lost. Well, no, that level up was lost, would have been lost on my most recent game over. Like magically sealed does kind of oh, yeah no nah. less is ah. presuming I can't do anything there at least for now unless I can <laughs> <laughs> I 
Okay. I'm gonna presume that there's not that, like, there's not really anything there because I'm gonna presume also that this is supposed to be kind of like the start of the game. The starting area. Or, like, maybe that area's down there is kind of like the part where the ship lands on Zebus and then going up that way on the left is like the path to Meridia or something like that and this way is like the path to Brinstar and North Air. Well I mean both ways lead to North Air eventually. It loops. So, I guess I'm just going to head back up this way, and uh, keep heading to the right. Although this is going to be blocked by like annoying pieces of crap. don't really know what the money is for. <laughs> but I am starting to get a better grip on this game, and that's right. Yeah, I've got the knife now. That's actually going to be so much better. Shit, these idiots. A better castle, mister. <laughs> you know, I did kind of had the thought of what is it, what if Luigi's Mansion is a Metroidvania, but after about 10 minutes of thinking, I decided that Luigi's Mansion is in fact not a Metroidvania. Unless you can think of otherwise. That does only one damage. Ah. Ah, oh, never mind. See ya. I'm on the other side of you. That's right. This is the part. Yeah, it has Banjo too. He's a Metroidvania. Uh, it kind of is, actually. <laughs> Yo, mannequin woman, you die. That's the. Yep, yeah, I remember what was there. I found the. Uh, what is it? The. The spirit orb was there. Up there is another reason why I think there's a... Um... Um... It is a large interconnected, interconnected world. I'm just wondering... If, uh... And like, you do learn things that make you more powerful and allow you to get access to more things. The thing, like... The, the thing about Banjo-Tooie, right, is that the geography... Um, the geography uh, of the areas don't sink into... Don't, just don't sink in.
like, you know, if you... If you draw a map of the path from Mayhem Temple to Glittergotch Mine to Witchy World to Hailfire Peaks, then back to Mayhem Temple, which is a, a pattern that you can do um, using certain passages, then you'll probably find the geography doesn't sink in like unlike here on, displayed on this map. But like, I mean, even like Super Metroid, for example, you, you can get the whole map right <coughs> you get the whole world map um like even if then it's not even if it's never fully shown at any one point in the game if you do get the whole world map and lay it all out you'll see that they all connect and they all sync in perfectly with each other if you don't believe me go to vgmaps.com and look up super metroid Another reason why I think I can go, I can get a high jump. Mm -hmm. Ah, idiot! Thank you. I'm sick of the bloody knockback. There's nothing down here. This room has to have a purpose. Yeah. Oh, like in Super Metroid. Yeah. Yeah. Really? Does it does it overlap in Samus Returns? Okay, maybe Banjo Two it could qualify for Metroidvania. But there's a lot more ambiguity surrounding Banjo Tooie, sort of. Like I mean, backtracking's. Backtracking in um, Banjo 2 is only required for 100%. Okay. So. Yeah. Now, this gold clock right here. Also, what the hell is that thing? It looks like a frog with a human head on top of it. But this one. This, this clock is the different color and makes me suspicious on it. Like, it appears to be the only one that doesn't look like it has any damage whatsoever done to it. But, yeah, this one looks not damaged, that one. Hmm. Actually, any one of the ones that operate don't look like they have damage. Alright, cutscene time. Wait a moment. Mm -hmm. You seem human, and yet, what do you hear? What do you hear? I've come to destroy this castle. Then we have the same purpose. I'll trust you for now. I'm Maria. Who are you? Alcard. Alcard. Not the talkative type, I can see. Well, perhaps we'll meet again. If you live that long. Farewell. Oof. See, and then this bit moves, but I don't know what the dealio with that is. Also, there's a thing there. Hmm. I'm gonna keep going. <laughs> nope. Let's go. Do do do. do do do. Oh, what's this? Oh, that's the the diamond thing. Ah, bloody tables! Ah, thank you. A nymp, right? 
No, can I even get to that platform? Hmm. I'm looking forward to this extra jump that I'm pretty sure I'm gonna unlock. Shut your face. Oh, that's right. Oh, what's this? Oh, yes! I totally want that. Mate, come any closer, mate. No, I want this. I want the time. I want the clock. Okay. Wait, hold on. Dude! Okay. I think this is also sealed by magic. Yes, it is. <laughs> So I'm seeing a lot of those, like, things, like those, I guess those maroon stone passages that go down with, I've seen two of them so far in this area. Destroy this weird monster with like this weird green dragon that has a woman sticking out the tail. But more importantly, I can do this. <laughs> the enemy is so random. Yeah, she does too. Keep this. Don't do drugs. <laughs> I'm not the one doing drugs, it's Alucard's the one doing drugs. 
Zircon. Alright, so... Last time I went up, so I'm gonna go down in the hopes that I can find a save. All that. What? Mist could not be passed. Oh crap. I am very close to death and I can't go back up there. Unless this... Yeah, okay. See why this game didn't get to the Nintendo 64. It's got so much blood in it. Mm. Then you're like, there's also Castlevania 64. Ugh, I have to walk through that again. Well, the worst offender of those. Is like the ones that knock you back into a loading zone. Well, when the knockback forces you into a loading zone. Thank you. Wait a moment. You seem human, oh, really? and yet. What do you hear? Oh, it's not the scare factor. I've come to destroy this. It's castle. like the blood. Then we have the same purpose. I'll trust you for now. I'm Maria. Who are you? Alucard. Hmm. Not the talkative type, I can see. Well, perhaps we'll meet again. If you live that long. Farewell. Dang it, I wouldn't even call this game scary. Though, no, that's the thing. Thing. Huh. <sighs> Can't get to that platform. Horror is objective, not subject. Definitely. There's nothing flawed about that logic. my enemies mm -hmm. um. I just want to like fill in the map as much as I can for OCD sake See, this is what I mean. <laughs> oh, I don't give a crap about any of you and your crap. Hearts are super abundant. Mm. 
Sure. Absolutely. No one else's opinions matters but your own. in the NES game. Dude. Ah, you... Dude. Totally stoned. Huh. Interesting. At least I don't do any damage. Oh, I didn't even mean to do that. Oh well, I'll just make the most of it. I'm gonna actually dump the clock for the axe now. Alright, outer wall. McCartsons. Oh, dude, that sucks. <laughs> Medusa heads or axe nets? Crappy. Hmm. It's a matter of being able to try and... But like, ultimately, I'd like to find a safe spot way on that far side. Also, have I saved the consumption of the potion? I have saved the consumption of the potion. Sometimes get a little bit annoyed when I actually use when I use the, when I use a weapon, well, use an item like the the ah. There we go. Use like the other the alternative weapon, like the knife here. Wait a moment. Oh, I have to sit through this you seem human, again. and yet, what do I you? We should go back and save after this. I've come to destroy this castle. Then we have the same purpose. I'll trust you for now. Uh, I'm Marie. sure I'll find one. Who are Actually, you? answer me this: Alucard. that guy that I keep the dying to, well, the, the guy that I died to on well, the most recent attempt, we'll again. that if you live um, that long, farewell. That I really want to get rid of. Is the save point, is there a save point behind him? Or is that the fastest way to a save point? Yes or no? Do I have to deal with that guy? Oh, okay. Yep. Ah! <laughs> I 
Okay. Then that means... Then that means I'm just gonna ignore him for now and then look for a spot to save. So, I'm just gonna look for... I'll do... Hello, Taiwan. Taiwan, thank you for the very much for the 15 bits. Welcome to the stream. Uh, oh, I didn't mean to throw that. I'm playing Castlevania Symphony of the Night Blind. Make sure you don't spoil it for me. Uh, I've recently become largely fascinated by Metroidvanias. So, I wanted to go check out the Definers. So, I've already played Super Metroid, so I, I'm playing Symphony of the Night. Yeah, <laughs> fair enough. <laughs> now, just for OCD purposes. I just want to reveal this part of the map. Magically sealed! Oh, I know, I already knew that. I just wanted to. I'm in for a treat. Even with those skeleton dudes attacking me. Huh. Okay. I need to destroy Jasmine Tails. I'm calling these guys Jasmine Tails from now on. Because that's, uh... Because that's basically what they... That's basically what I think some parts can be confusing when blind. I can imagine so. I'll be excited to see what's going on. So, at the moment... Um... Uh, come on. <laughs> At the moment, I've discovered this much of the map. Um, I've defeated one, what I think is one boss. Um, that's what makes the game so hard. <laughs> well, makes the game go so great. Dub, oh, of course. Yeah, like, I mean, I played through Super Metroid, which is the other defining Metroidvania. And, and like, I absolutely loved it, even with its confusing parts. <laughs> ah, no, no. Okay. Yeah, boy. Level up. Hmm. Meal tea. Oh, hold on. No, nothing. Okay. Um, meal ticket. What's that? Mystery food ticket use. Uh, lowers my defense by one. Oh, no, this is because I got the shield. So. Meal ticket. Mystery food ticket. I'm not sure if I should use that. <laughs> ah! So glad I got that third hit before the plant went berserkos. Okay. Actually, I'm gonna keep the, the clock for now. Ah, rats. Oh well. Okay. I'm just gonna keep going downwards until I find a save point on this side. No! Ah! Bloody thing! Ugh. Thank 
Okay. Alright. Uh, look. Do I get to interact with that? Okay, I guess not. Send them a pot. Uh, I'm just gonna. No, I can't fall down there. Oh boy. Man, those chains. Yeah, I see. Right. No. Ugh. Okay. No, nope, a secret is a spoiler. People seem to misunderstand what spoiler is, like, because, like, in the term of a movie, yeah, it's absolutely spoil- story spoilers. So story is an absolute- it's absolutely a spoiler. But in the context of video games, like, I mean, story can also be spoiler. But, um... Ugh. But the thing is... Yo, the, the thing about um, video games is that often you can have gameplay spoilers. Like, I don't want to know that I can do a thing. Like, even if I guess it, I don't want to see it. I, do, I don't want to know about it until after I get, um, at, until after I get to a certain location. No, crap, this isn't a save room. This is something else. Oh boy. It's a dark link. Is there a way out? Nope. Feels bad, man. Oh, gosh. This video game is not easy. Especially when you approach a boss like, like, uh, what I'm guessing is a bit of a mini boss. Without any, like, like a low health. And like, when you get all the way that far, and then you, you're like, yeah, we're gonna reveal a new, we're gonna find a safe point on that, on that side, so I don't have to keep going back here. I'll find one, I'll find one, I assure you, I'll find one, it's just that. Wait a moment, mm -hmm. you seem human, and yet, what do you hear? I've come to destroy this castle. What do you hear? 
Then we have the same purpose. Shots to I'll trust you for now. I'm Maria. Who are you? Alucard. Not the talkative type I can see. Well, perhaps we'll meet again. If you live that Ooh, long. Shots fired. Farewell. Again, once more. I can't get up there. Ah! <laughs> Not yet. I'm sure I'll find one. Not unless they are... Not unless it's apparently behind the, the guy that killed me in the other attempt. Alright. Come on. Thank you. Ah! I will suit, suit my second. Ah. Oh. Hard to avoid spoilers. I managed to avoid spoilers for Super Metroid. A game from 1994. And I've seen more things of that than I have of this. Like, the thing is... Like, I had never been interested in playing Castlevania games. Until... Like, this... Until I discovered... Exactly how Metroidvanias are designed. It's surprisingly easy to avoid spoilers when you don't Google search it. I was only able to learn things about Symphony of the Night just by Google searching it. Otherwise, it's super easy to avoid. And like... When, um... When I played, um... So... Before my interest in Metroidvania surfaced, if I had heard anything about um, Symphony of the Night, it would not stick in my long-term memory just because I was just generally not interested in hearing about it. that you two will get along too well. <laughs> Gotta play Super Castlevania 4. I've got, I've actually got Super Castlevania 4 on the Wii U virtual console. I started playing and then I died. I don't know, I might stream a playthrough of that later. When I'm over my Metroidvania craze. Thank you for the other twenty. Thank you for another twenty-five bits. I wonder if like how much I've received overall. All right, I'm going to I'm going to try and find a safe spot. Jump over this idiot! Yes, and this one. Okay. So that went to the boss. There we go! <laughs> the best traditional Castlevania is Rondo of Blood for the TG-16. <laughs> Alright. 
Um, alright. Now, I feel like I can tackle this place a little bit better. Again, uh -huh. after all this game, uh. ah. Dude, totally did not intend. Also, my health. I have so much more health here compared to this guy. Whoa! This guy. Ah. Oh. Yo! I killed him! Die, ghost! What do we got? What's this? Life max up. I'm gonna go back and save and I'm gonna see what's past him. Mm -hmm. Yeah, boy. 96 health maximum. Beautiful. See what's this way? Gladius. Whoops. Um let's see. Oh boy. Nice, a stronger sword. Okay. No Oh my gosh, this has happened again. This happened in the previous stream, where, yeah, idiot, Whoa. where like the music just disappeared for no reason, and I had to like reload the area in order to get the music to play, because I was like, what on earth is going on here? Where's the music? I don't know. So I just need to go back into the save room. Yeah, there it is. Right. Okay. Look at Alucard staying there like a beast. Uh. Mm. A bit more reach than the short sword. Oh, well, I, when you say door, you mean, like, a door to a place? Right? Because, like, I mean, I went through some loading zones, or passageways. Oof. Okay, I can't go there. Okay, I'll keep a note of that. I'm gonna keep climbing this tower and see where it takes me. Ah, uh, okay. Oh boy. 
You'd think that like a glitch like that would be patched out. Like, I mean, wait, actually, was this one, was this a glitch that was well known on the original PlayStation 1 version? Or was that just apparently a thing in the Xbox 360 version, which is what I'm playing? Yo, it's a Bowser head. Come here, Bowsy. What the? Oh, okay. So there is a thing. I'm uh no, I'm uh, I'm playing on I'm playing on like Xbox 360. Like yeah, I I got it on the um. Oh, okay. It was coming for a scratched disc and what? Okay, that's so interesting. This is the, that glitch is a result of a scratch disk, but like this is just a file downloaded from the internet to a um on like a well, I mean technically it is an emulator because it's the Xbox Live version, but like since it's not a disk, this is interesting. What do we have here? Do I not have enough things to go here? Is this like the entrance to Torian in um, Super Metroid? Or Torian? I don't know how to pronounce it. Oh, it's yellow. That must mean it's important. <laughs> Faulty file. Whoops, what have I paid for? Ten dollars down the tube, I demand answers, Microsoft and Konami. Huh? Oh. Thank you. <laughs> That's the guy that gives me the level up. Not destroy me today. Oh, my gosh. I totally didn't realize that I walked because I didn't. I must have gone between the two locations. I totally... Hello, Alucard773. Welcome to the stream. I totally didn't notice. <laughs> oh. How did I miss this? Oh, gosh. Okay, that's going to be super convenient for later. What are the symbols? I never noticed. What, the sim? Oh, no, like, when I say symbol, I mean, like, the color of the room. Because, like, you know, the red one, like, the blue rooms are normal, the red ones are saves, and it seems like the yellow ones are the warps. I, I totally didn't notice that there was another yellow one in the bottom left. Okay, there's another little... I'm just gonna keep trying to get as high as I can in here. What's this? Hmm, I wonder if there's a biblical metaphor for that. The full armor of God, described in Ephesians 5. I played Symphony of the Night. I was to... Oh! Oh, okay. Oh. Oh, okay. Okay. Now I feel like an even derpier derp. I do recall saying symbols at some point. Okay. So that's that. 
So that's that door. I've got so many options now. Overwhelmed with options. <gasps> What's that? I want that. That looks interesting. Here we go. No. Okay. Yeah. Ugh. You know, weird blue things. You want to not? Oh. Elevator activated. Cool. Medusa heads. Okay. Well, I presume it's the elevator. Um, oh yeah. So anyway, I'm going to, what I'm going to do, is I'm just going to warp. I'm just going to take that warp to wherever it was. Um, and then... This is, no, this isn't it. Dude! Oh, frick. There we go. This is the one. NES Medusa heads. Good times, shots. Good times. Alright, let's look out for some symbols. Yo, I'm down here. Wait a minute. Is this? Yes! Got to the other side of this wall! Oh, baby! Heart max up. I ever learn to play a musical instrument, it'll always it'll be the drums. <laughs> Alright, it's 10.30, so I actually do need to stop playing um, now because I have to I have an early morning to get up for. And I've got to finish some homework before I before I go to bed. So I'm gonna have to wrap it up here. Thank you all for coming. If you enjoyed the stream, don't forget to leave a follow if you're new. Um, and uh, I will be back on Wednesday at 12 p.m. Australian Eastern Daylight Time. That is 8 p.m. U.S. Eastern on Tuesday night and. What time is that in the UK? 1 a.m. Wednesday morning UK. Uh, nerd. I'm playing video games. What do you expect? <laughs> all right. Um, I'm gonna thank you also very much for watching, and I'll stop the recording here.